Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a quick haul video and an unboxing video. Um, I'm going to keep this as short as I can because um, lighting is just not working and it's just kind of messy back here and it's kind of embarrassing. But I've been wanting to film this and I got a box today that I just really want to open right away and I want you guys to see my initial reaction. So let's start. Um, Last week I went to Morphe Brushes and I picked up a few things. Um, I'm going to start off with the first thing I got which is this crease brush. I don't know if you can see, it's looking kind of blurry in the camera, but it's a Morphe M429. Um, it's like a dual fiber brush and it picks up color really really well. I've been using this a lot with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I just dabble it in a little bit and just put in my crease and it works perfectly well. Um, I also use it to blend out um, the colors that I have on my lid and then you know transition and up top. So I've really been liking this a lot. Um, I have my receipt here and this brush came to $4.95 of course tax is added on and all that after um, I also got some lashes these were $1.99 each I got Demi wispy lashes in black and then I also got regular wispies in black as well and as you can see the wispies are more separated um, and the Demi wispies are a little thicker so I'm excited I also picked up another LA girl pro concealer uh, the high definition concealer I've been loving this I use um, the LA girl concealer every day I use fawn every day and I also have the warm honey it's a bit lighter so I kind of tucked that one away and I figured I'll use it for highlighting but I picked up the color almond um, I thought that it would work better with concealing blemishes because for your under eye you kind of want something a bit brighter and um, again I thought this would be good blending in blemishes so this uh, pro concealer was $2.99 next I picked up two more lip pencils um, these are the Italia Deluxe Lip Pencils, um, Ultra Fine Lip Liner. I picked up the color Magenta and the color Fuchsia. So I'm excited about these. I think these will be really fun for spring and summer. Just really nice, fun pops of pink on the lips. Um, I also picked up another brush. This is the Morphe B76 Eyeliner. I haven't used it yet but this is one of those angled brushes that you use on the line and then just swoop with a little wing flick whatever you want to call it and then oh oh yes I've also been loving this this is the morphe brushes eyebrow pomade in the color Fawn. I've used it a few times already. This is the lid and I've been using this with a very paper thin uh, brush. So this is how it looks. At first I was nervous. I was like, oh, this might be a little too light. It only comes in this shade and a lighter one, but it is perfect. You put it on. It doesn't move. It doesn't budge. This was $5.99 and I've been nervous to use um, eyebrow pomades because I don't know I figure I like more of a natural look but um, I when I have time I use this I have it on now and I start off with the Anastasia uh, brow whiz pencil to just make like a guide and then I just go in with this to fill it in and as long as you keep your hand very light it, it does the job I'm satisfied I mean, I'm not um, on me personally, um, just wearing like a very bold, heavy brow. I, I feel like that would overwhelm me, but 
you know this has been doing the job as far as like a natural and nice look so I've been very happy with it so that's what I got from Morphe brushes next up is Marshalls I love going to Marshalls for like fast little finds um, I picked up this lip balm sunscreen well it's a lip balm in the color nude and it has SPF 15 sunscreen I actually picked this up from my mom so I'm not gonna do a swatch on it that would be weird um, but I picked up two other lip colors that are also elf this is the matte lip color in T Rose so this is how it looks um, and I will do swatches I feel like I have kind of well no I did do a video where um, I did some swatches but I didn't do swatches for the Jaclyn Hill palette and I kind of regret not doing that because I feel as though I always look on YouTube for videos of brown skin girls you know showing products and how they look on them so I feel like it's only fair if I do that as well so this is T Rose it's like a same old mauve actually like a mauve lavender kind of color that is good for every day and then I also picked up the color coral and these uh, matte lip colors were $2.39 each originally I think on their website they're probably just like three bucks so it's not that much of a deep discount but you know it's something and you don't have to worry about shipping and stuff like that coral I was actually shocked I didn't think I would like it that much but that's coral um, I thought this would be great for summer so that is that and then I also picked up the butter oh, yes there we go I picked up the butter London cheeky tinted highlighter in the color dishy and originally this retails for eight dollars um, it was $3.99 but when I opened it it looked like someone had already been playing with it so I got it for $3.99 no I got it for three instead of $3.99 so not bad um, this is what it looks like and you just twist this cap off and you just get this like pearlized bit of color and then you just spray it around and it's just like a pinky like a pinky gold highlight I guess you can say rose gold um, so yeah I mean this is when I was on my hunt for highlighters because highlighters are very hard to come by but um, luckily I was driving to work and I happened to look down on my phone and I saw that Hot Look was having their bomb cosmetics sale so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to finally cave in and get the Mary Luminizer and so I did and I'm very 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 excited to see how this bad boy is gonna look this is it Mary Lou's here again um, I've seen this on moldy fruits blog um, and I enjoy watching her because we are about the same skin tone so I like watching her to see uh, what she's trying out because I know if it looks good on her it will more than likely look good on me so this is the box that it comes in Mary Lou offense highlighter shimmer eyeshadow offensive 
Fard Claire. Oh, okay. Antonym Womanizer. Oh, I was just reading um, the French version before. So that's why. Oh, this is so cute. It even has a little. Where they're San Francisco based. Okay, made in the USA. Good to know. Um, this is the case here. It's a nice, sturdy little compact. And then you just open it like so. <gasps> it's like the angels are singing. No, oh, there goes me. Hello. So, this is that. And I mean, the camera is making it okay. Yeah, the color that's coming up there is pretty close to how it is. And let's do oh, it's like buttery soft, which is nice. So this is how it looks on the finger. And now let's see how it looks on the... It's like light powder. It's so lightweight. It feels so nice. I don't know if you can... Yeah, there it is right there. It's like a nice soft gold, which is exactly what I've been looking for and I'm so excited to start incorporating this into my look every day so I look more refreshed and awake. I also have my crown fan brush which I also think will be good for this because you just do a little dusting in the right spots and all set. So that is it. I hope this video was quick and easy and painless. Um, if you guys have been using this or any of the other products that I mentioned, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear different ways and comments and tips on how you guys have used them. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to also check out my other social media uh, outlets via Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, all that everything will be listed down below okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye